This project is on the effect of light pollution on the number of visible stars in the sky by Karina Patton from Jamestown High School. The introduction. So why is light pollution so important? Um, well, most people don't know, but 80% of the world is under light polluted skies. And you might not think that this is a big issue because no one talks about it, but it doesn't only affect uh, future research in astronomy, but it also affects the environment. Another thing is that light pollution doesn't only occur in cities where there is a lot of light, it is also reaching out to protected national parks. The experimental design. The research question was, how does light pollution affect the number of visible stars in the sky? The independent variable is light pollution. The dependent variable is the number of visible stars. And the hypothesis is that if there is little to no light, then there will be more stars visible in the sky. The expected outcome is that the results are expected to show a negative trend. And as light pollution goes down, the number of visible stars goes up. The procedure. The experimenter found three places to record her data. Charlie's Antiques, Warhill parking lot, and Home Goods parking lot. The experiment took place on different nights with a clear sky at 9 p.m. each time. The experimenter used her hand to create a tunnel-like vision, and the diameter of her hand in the O shape is 5 centimeters. The experimenter counted the stars within the tunnel vision starting at a northern point, going clockwise until she reached that point again. She recorded the number of stars she saw within that tunnel vision in a notebook. The experimenter then found the average of the data. Risks and safety precautions. So one risk was going to these places alone. The safety precautions used were being accompanied by someone throughout the entire experiment. These are the results. There is a data table to the right and a graph on the bottom left of the slide. And please note that the data average is coming from the tunnel vision created by the experimenter's hand. Results and analysis. The data shows that when the light pollution is decreased, the number of visible stars in the sky are increased. There is a graph on the upper right hand corner of the slide. And that graph shows a negative trend, and it also proves the hypothesis that was made. And an observation that was made was that the data almost doubles within each variable. Discussion. What do these results really mean? These results show how light pollution can affect the way we see the stars. The experimenter found a website, which is linked in the reference page, with a map that portrays the light pollution amounts around the world. When looking at this map, the distance that the light pollution spread was shocking. So what was meant by this was the amount of light pollution that was spread beyond the city was very surprising. As referenced in the introduction, light pollution does not only affect research in astronomy, it also affects the environment. Animals depend on the night to determine their migration habits and ha habitat formations. It confuses nocturnal animals because they have no indication of when to sleep or wake. Light pollution has a big effect on the way we see the night sky and it also has an effect on future astronomy research. And knowing about this situation and how it affects us and our surroundings, will allow me to do further research and to see if I can help in any way. So errors in the experiment. So if the experimenter had done more trials with more areas, the trend of the graph might have been more steady. And also if more trials were done with the same areas, the results could have also been more steady. So these are the pictures um, on the very right is the very little to no light area, and I did record the data with my headlights off. The middle picture is the fairly lit area, and as you can see, it only has a couple lights. And the left 
The far left one is the very well lit area. And as you can see, it has a lot of lighting. And here are the references. Thank you.